its properties part 1 i am there everywhere on the earth you cannot see me as i am colorless did you recognize me yes i am air and play an important role in all of your lives are you wondering how is this possible let me take you to a small village in uttarakhand where anju and ashu are getting ready to go to a fair with their father the aim of this video is to understand the various aspects of air come on children hurry up the fair will be closed soon father we are ready i want to ride my bicycle okay oh ho the cycle is not moving father what shall i do the cycle is not moving because both the tires have no air father doesn't the tire move if there is no air when the tire is filled with air the tire expands and comes to use there are many such non living things that require air i non living things those that cannot breathe yes they can't breathe can't grow and can't even walk we will talk as we walk otherwise we will be late for the fair leave this bicycle here children can you list the non living things that will come to use only when there is air inside father just as we humans need air to breathe do the animals trees and plants also need air living beings like plants animals humans require air the most to survive air is fundamental to our existence i see look we have reached the fair go and play on those swings take this money i will go and buy some balloons and candles and tell you more about the properties of air children try these experiments at home take a plant and close it with a bucket for 4 days and see the result you both must have had fun on the swings let's go home now father we have come home now tell why have you brought these balloons i'm excited to know i bought these balloons and candles to show some experiments i will fill the air in both these balloons can you see that the balloons are taking shape when we are filling them with air what does this represent can either of you tell me let me think does this mean the air is shaping the balloons Yes, you are absolutely right. One of the qualities of air is that it occupies space and also shapes things. I will now tie one balloon each on the either side of this rod and balance them both. Next, I will prick a balloon. What did you see? What is this? a balloon exploded but why did the rod lean towards the side where the balloons did not burst you are right this is the next property of air the air carries weight it fills objects like balls balloons tires and when the air fills these objects their weight increases hey wow It is amazing. Children, you are watching very interesting experiments related to me. Can you think of any experiment to prove that I surround the place? 
Now we will discuss the next aspect of air. Can you guess why a house, forest, papers etc. burn when a fire breaks out? And what should be done to extinguish this? Anju, can you give me a glass? Here you are, father. I will now light this candle which I bought. And now I am placing this glass on the candle. What did you see? The fire was extinguished. But why? You are absolutely right. The fire was extinguished. That is because air is necessary to burn. When we put glass on a candle, we cut off the supply of air, rather supply of oxygen. Therefore, the candle stopped burning immediately. It means that we need air for things to burn. Yes, the air helps burn things. The moment we cut off the air supply, that very moment the burning of the item stops. Air is a miracle thing. Yes, you are right. It is said that out of all the planets, there is life on earth only because there is air and water here. And what are the characteristics of air? Like I said, air is the reason for the existence of living things. In addition to gases, air contains water vapor and pollen. I think there is water vapour in the air which causes rain. Yes, you are right. The air also carries pollen with it, which spreads and is responsible for vegetation and the birth of new trees. Children, you need to know about the fun things that are related to air. What are those? What do you do? When the food is hot, we blow on the hot food so that it cools down and then we can eat. Right. But what do you do if you feel cold in winter? We rub our hands near the mouth and blow hot air. Perfect. In this case, you are trying to warm your hands. It's strange. Once we blow air to cool things, and once we blew air to heat things up. What does this mean? Why does this happen? Does this mean that hot and cold air flows from our mouth? <laughs> no. In fact, the air coming out of your mouth always has the same temperature that does not change as per your wish. Why does this happen? The air around us is always colder than the air coming from our lungs. When we blow air through our mouth, a lot of atmospheric air mixes with it. The result is that the air falling on the object becomes cold. Then why do we blow hot air to keep ourselves warm? On the other hand, if the object is placed near the mouth, the air falls directly on the object, which makes it warmer because the air from the lungs is warmer. These things are interesting. Yes, things related to air are quite interesting. I hope you understood this concept. Yes, Father. Okay, we will discuss air with this little experiment. Ashu, take this glass and keep it near your mouth. Then suck the air from the glass into your mouth and remove your hands. Wow, it's stuck to the mouth. Will it fall? Now, Ashu, release your breath and see what happens. The glass fell down. Absolutely. 
Do you know why this happened? The reason for this is that when the air from the glass is sucked into the mouth, the air coming from outside exerts pressure on the glass and keeps it fit on the mouth. This proves that the air increases the pressure. This property of air is used during Holi in the use of a pichkari and is also used by the doctor while using an injection. What an amazing quality! Yes, indeed. I hope you have understood all that I said. Now, go to sleep. Thanks, Father, for these experiments and good night! Children, I hope you all have enjoyed this video which describes my qualities and uses. In the next video, we will discuss about air pollution and ways to control it. Thank you for watching this video.